Hi everyone, here's a question from Fraction. The question is, write any, the first one is, 3 proper and 3 improper fractions with the denominator 7. And the second one is, 2 proper and 2 improper fraction with the numerator 9. Now, let's start doing this. The first question, we have 3 proper and 3 improper fraction with the denominator 7. So, 7 has to be fixed here. And what are proper and improper? Proper fractions are the one where the numerator is greater. So first let us write down the proper fraction. So we have a proper fraction. So in proper fraction, they said we want like they want denominator 7. So let us fix the denominator 7. And how many proper they want? 3 proper fractions. So let me write down 7 here for 3 different proper fractions okay now proper fractions are the fraction where the denominator is greater than the numerator so whenever you're choosing a numerator here it has to be less than 7 then it is called proper so you can pick any number which is less than 7 let me take here 1 and 2 and 3 you can take any number like 4 5 uh, which is like still less than 7 4 5 and 6 anything now this became the other three pro, uh, proper fractions. Let us write on improper fraction now. So improper fractions will be again we want denominator seven here. So let me write down seven in the denominator. Now improper fractions are the one where the numerator is greater. Now I want number which is greater than 7. You can take any number which is greater than 7. So let me take here 11, 11 and then 20 and then let me take 50 here. So it's not necessary that my answer should be same as your answer. Your answer has to be same with your friend's answer. No. Since they have given, uh, like just write down any improper fraction with the denominator 7. So we can take any number here. So 11 by 7, 20 by 7, 50 by 7 are 3 improper fraction. Now let's go to second question. In second one, they are asking us to write down 2 proper and 2 improper with the numerator 9. Now, they have fixed the numerator which is 9. So, let us change the numbers here. Let me erase this. So, this is the second question. Now, they want 9 to be the numerator. So, 9 by and let me write down 9 by. So, these are the 2 uh, proper. So, like I said, proper fraction means the numerator will be smaller than denominator. So, so this denominator should be greater than the 9. So you can take any number. Let me take here 20 and here let me take here 10. You can take any number which should be but it should be greater than 9. Then only it will become proper. Now improper fraction. Let me fix the numerator. We have 9. Now in improper fraction numerator is greater then denominator so 9 is 9 has to be greater here so which means denominator which I have to take should be smaller than 9 so we can take like 4 and let me take here 6 that's it I hope this question is clear it was simple you have to just understand the difference between proper and improper and then you can do it now in case you have any question from fraction or any other chapter you can drop a comment and I'll try to solve it or I'm gonna make a video of that question Thank you so much for watching.